Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. I'm still traveling and I am currently at Japan and I'm meeting with great organizations and I'm really working with some great organizations at the, uh, their place and we are working on some very cool generative AI projects. Unfortunately, I cannot really talk a lot about it, but I'm telling you that this field is booming and as an engineer, it is great and golden age for all of us to start taking the advantage of this model. The reason I created this video is that because very recently the stable uh, stable AI team behind the very popular and very successful uh, stable diffusion model for images, they have actually released a new large language model named Stable LM. That fully open source model, only few uh, first two models 3 billion as well as the 7 billion parameters is publicly available so i decided to create this video give you some of the crude details or the deep details which are available at immediate for you to take advantage of it dig more look the code more and if you have opportunity try it and learn from it so let's get ourselves started Stability.ai is not something very new in the field of generative ai research their stable diffusion model has already been very popular and one of the top image generation model used by very large community all over the world so very recently just a few days back a stable a stability ai team behind the stable diffusion generative ai model has released a new model which is a large language model named stable lm by uh, as shown its name it's a large language model which is created by the team behind the stable diffusion model and the company or the organization un under the name of stability.ai so this large language model is re released based on creative commons license and if you look into the plan the large language model which is created by stability uh, AI team is just two models are released with 3 billion and the 7 billion parameters but the 15, 30, 65 and 170 billion parameters models are already on its way to release in coming days or weeks or months. So what is available right now? So right now the 3 billion and 7 billion uh, parameters models are available so we can take a look at those uh, models at the hugging face repo so here is the hugging face repo if you would want to test the 7 billion model parameter so we are opening the hugging face and that's where you could actually uh, ask or you can start chatting with the 7 billion parameter which is the tuned one so what is going on today let's see what happens and you can get a very quick idea about the interaction or the conversational model which is the stable large language model 7 billion parameters and like you know it's, it's pretty much what the standards you are going to get in terms of these models they are trying to reflect that they are machine they are model they are not human let's come back if you are interested to see the model itself where they are available how the size are we can actually go look into these uh, stability AI hugging face repo here you are going to see that the this is the uh, space which we were interacting here so you have to understand the idea behind the hugging face data sets spaces and models so we need to look into the model so here are the models here you could see that there is a uh, the stable language base and tuned base and tuned 3 billion and the 7 billion parameters so you can actually look into here these are the tuned and the base models for the 3 billion you can look into the file version here 10 plus 4 about 15 gig parameter 15 uh, gig model and here you can also look into this one is about 15 gig parameter so the difference between is the, the tuned as well as the base one if you look into the 7 billion ones here and you open them also you will see here that 7 billion tuned version is about 30 gig model here is the 7 billion the base model which is also around the 
30 gig so you can get an idea that these two models are already available in the public domain as described by here so the web demo is available for the 7 billion one but these two models are available the base and alpha and here is the link to direct so the reason i wanted to show you this way so you can understand that how you can search the large language or any model which are publicly available at the hugging face location next we can also look into the little more information about the model itself so first we need to understand that all these large language models which are publicly available mostly are are based on the large language uh, data set which is called the pile and the pile is actually created by the team uh, behind the eludor uh, so there is about 850 gig open source language modeling data set which is combination of 22 other data set but if you are interested in building your own model by scratch and you have resources that's where most of the uh, organizations so most of the open source folks are really go here second you will see that the stable lm alpha this model is actually using this model and it has about 1.5 trillion tokens we already know that about three characters lump sum create a token so the stable lm alpha is actually using the pile but is a newer data set which has about 1.5 trillion tokens which is the three times size of this pile and as you could see that they are going to train a lot even the models which are released just are the very small one so besides that the team behind this stable AI they actually what they did they use the very popular open source model training processes so one is Stanford alpaca so just as a proof of concept they actually train the model then they fine-tune the model with the Stanford alpaca processor which is the uh, procedure using the combination of five recent data sets for the conversational agent so if you look into this the pile the pile is actually the open source language modeling data set so the training for the training pile was used but to fine-tune the model so that it can become uh, or act as a conversational agent this model is fine-tuned combination of five recent data sets alpaca gpt for all and these are all open source and then a share gpt 52k databricks dolly and finally the anthropic hh so based on the model was created with the pile uh, data set training and fine-tune all these five data sets this is what you are seeing as a result of this overall process very important to understand if you are interested to start training by your own if you have resources this is where people start going and start training the model you can also look into the gpt for all training process there is a lot to see and there is besides all of this the company in my previous uh, video i talked about uh, the uh, servers where they have full data set as well as the fully trained models as, as seven models are already available from 111 uh, million all the way to few billion parameters so something uh, to take from this next we uh, also need to look into that uh, what this one the context lens for these models is 4096 token i think if i go a little more below here it may not be described here okay so what i wanted to check is that the 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 tokens for the these both models are 4096 tokens it means the context lens it means in order to predict the next word the minimum 4096 tokens required for both 3 billion as well as the 7 billion parameter uh, uh, models and there was a place where i was able to get little more information about these models if i go into here let me open this page backside and i was looking into the files this page here is the files here i was interested into so that's the code so if you look into the code you will see that this is the code which is actually used for uh, you to start interacting with the models here you can learn that which model has been used so here is the model which is really being used so tokenizer is created based on that so here is the model so model and tokenizer so you can 
look into the application itself which is actually running here this application is actually running on a 10g instances and looking into the code you can actually build this application by yourself and if you want to build your own application this is pretty much code you really needed in order to build your application basically using the transformers pipeline available at hugging face you are importing these methods and after that just loading your desired model and then finally setting up, up your token size and then finally passing the prompt and generating the result in, in between you need to use the tokenizer to first take your input prompt split it properly and then finally you generate the tokens and then decode the results one another aspect around this uh, stable uh, language model uh, alpha is that it can actually use a personal uh, impersonation not impersonation but the best would say that it can use a particular discussion mode it can use the chit chat mode it can use the formal writing yeah, you can say hey can you write this letter for me can you do uh, uh, can you take this resume and can you create the job description fit for this particular resume or something related to that creative writing and finally you can also use this model to writing code and comparative to the open ai models you or your results going to be very which has been also explained in the uh, bottom here is that there you might not be seeing certain results for big reason because the open ai models are basically used with rlhf the reinforcement learning with human feedback here human feedback costs a lot really ex highly expensive to doing those models that's why most of these models are still using the reinforcement learning but they may not have that much capabilities or the performance or the up to mark results related to the open ai models because these are open source models so that's all i had for you in this very short video i hope as an engineer you were able to get a lot from this video where to dig what else you could see and how you can enhance your knowledge by following this video I do appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.